Nashville, Tennessee, 2014, Summer Nam. Rob, get back over here, man. We're talking to Rob from Blue Note Woodworks. He's always trying to squirm away. I don't know what's up with this guy. Get away from the camera whenever I can. Tell us about your guitars, man, before you dart off again. So our guitars eventually started off with a bass, and the bass concept was something that we wanted in a small footprint that would sound like the big upright bass. The big upright bass, of course, you know, is a little cumbersome to tote around. And I was in a position playing with a singer-songwriter, backing her up with acoustic guitar and just a bass. Um, so after a couple of years of research and design, I came up with something that really seems to work. Works really well in an acoustic setting. Um, if you want to play it in a more pop setting, um, it will also produce a quite a kick, um, especially if it's fretted. But mainly our biggest selling thing is a fretless bass, and you can get that in a lined version or an unlined normal fretless fretboard. And uh, you'll be quite surprised. Today, Michael Farley is demonstrating our new crossover guitar. It's a stereo guitar with acoustic pickups inside the instrument, under the bridge, and then two humbucker pickups that are split coiled also producing two signals, either acoustic or, stere or humbucker, and stereo with both combined into two separate channels, two separate amps, whichever way you like to do it. And a lot of control. A lot of control, a lot of variation in tone right at your fingertips. So yeah. Um, we're, we're Michael's already rolling. Should we listen to him uh, play a few permutations of the uh, pickup array? What I'll do is demonstrate a little bit of what it's doing. Right now we're going to shut down the humbucker pickups and you're going to hear just the acoustic pickups. Turn the amp a little bit so we can hear it. Okay, so that's it. That's the acoustic side of it. We're gonna have it roll over and shut that side down. Flip it over to the humbucker version. Center detent on a blend pot right there. And turn it all the way over to the right, and you got neck position only. All the way to the left is bridge position only. Go back to the center, and we'll split the coils by up on the master volume, and then up on the master tone. So what we have is master volume, master tone on humbucker pickups, and a blend pot. Of course, pickup, traditional switching, and then a pick a humbucker selector switch up front, and then in the center would be stereo, and in the back acoustic. So put it back into stereo right now. That's what it's all about. We use premium select tone widths. This one is a curly maple from a tree that's over 150 years old that was reclaimed on the Oregon coast. And a swamp ash body with a bird's eye maple neck and a rosewood fretboard. Cool. Are people buying from you direct or do you have some dealers right now? Or? Right now we're direct only and we're, and we're you know, pretty much working it through our website. There's a list of options to choose from and we, we're, you know, welcoming artists and to come contact us directly to work with me with exactly what they want. We can shape the neck, we can customize the electronics to what they want, work right with the builder and, you know, much much of the idea that I had was to come up with an instrument that was 
top tone quality, not so much flush. All the fluff and glamour and paint jobs are great, but tone is our primary idea in the instrument. As far as basses and guitars, the first thing in the guitar we came out with is this stereo one. We just now came out with a classical nylon string that has a slim, narrow neck, more adaptive to a traditional electric guitar player or a folk string, steel string guitar player. So what's your website? www.bluenotewoodworks.com All right, go check it out, folks. For Michael, for Rob, signing off from Nashville, Tennessee.